We're now on the 50th anniversary of the uprising in Tibet that led to the exile of the Dalai Lama. And you have to ask yourself whether what China is now losing in international support from its persecution of the Dalai Lama and of Tibetans is now much, much greater than what it thinks it's gaining. It's always argued that it's asserting its right to Tibet as an integral part of China. But it's carried out its persecution of Tibetans and its obsession with the Dalai Lama as a kind of devil with uh, a ferocity that is uh, very hard for other countries to take, where the Dalai Lama has extensive support. And I think it is very hard to see that China can increase its place in the world, can increase its integration in the world, while keeping up this kind of obsession. It thinks it can, but it is clearly losing support. Now, the Olympics may have been a, a, a sidestep around the whole issue of human rights and the Dalai Lama, as countries muted their criticism of China on that front. But I think in the long run, it is very hard to see China playing the kind of role it wants as an economic superpower without beginning to take on board some of the other countries' criticisms. The greatest problem, though, from the Dalai Lama's point of view is that China is clearly playing a waiting game. It may be trying to see whether he will die first and some of the spirit of the Tibetan movement die with him before it has to concede anything to international pressure on the question of Tibetan autonomy.